Hey guys, welcome to our review of episode four, The Great Wave for The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, the billion dollar series from Amazon. I like to uh, intro very long. <laughs> um, as a in between, uh, you know, fan, uh, but not a lore master like, like, like Alex, and, uh, you know, a new person to the lore like Joe, um, I am extremely worried now. So it took a while to get me worried. So <laughs> Alex was already worried because it's the lore master. Now your half masters are getting worried. I'm not sure. And, and Joe, we'll talk about in a second. But the episode title is The Great Wave. And they already show a motherfucking massive event that I'm like so excited. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't wait. If they let's let, let's do it. They fucking showed it, which takes away a lot of what do you call it suspense, Sup suspense tension surprise uh, impressiveness it 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 fucking and and it makes me think that they are going to start fucking with things even more well i should have already known that but i'm not a lore master right so but now i'm i'm getting worried i here's what i think works let me let me talk about what works i love the dwarves <laughs> right yes this shit works during Elrond. But isn't that kind of a repeat of what we've already done? We kind of almost did the same thing. Uh, we do discover the secret uh, of uh, that the dwarves are hiding. But I'm like, uh, excuse me. I excuse me. Uh, I think they already know what Mithril is. There's a lot of stuff that use Mithril. Uh, but they act like... This is a new ore. No, we just found it, and I just I named it. I have That's no what idea what this is. Okay, okay so they're from definitely it. fucking with the timelines and lore of even stuff that I half know, right? Uh, I think that's working. What's not working for me is I had to look up their names because I keep putting daughter, son, uh, lady, guy. Um, let's see. Let's let's get the names right of the people on Numenor, right? Elendil. <laughs> Love him. I think he's a strong character. Like him. He's this is the captain. The fucking badass. Yeah. Well, the Numenorians, I'm already fucking pissed with because they're fucking chumps. None of them are even brave. They're just like, who wants to go to war and fight for the glory of Numenor? And they're like, I ain't got no job. I'll go. <laughs> and then when, and then like, guys, it's already fired. It's like, you are fucking up the Numenorians so bad from the lore. Anyways, uh, so that's Elendil. Uh, and then there's Muriel, who is sort of like the queen uh, regent, uh, who's in, uh, you know, commanding in place of uh, Elros, who is sick. And then there's Farazon, that's that li lion main guy, Alex, who... He's cool. He's We're not going to get to any of the cool shit that he does. He's fucking cool in the, in the, in the, in the he, thing. Well, he's, he's, he, he, he's he, way more badass he than he is He marches to Mordor. He no, 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 no. But I'm going to tell them. He no, but ninja. Then we're not getting to it. It doesn't no. happen. No. Nothing the, happens. Stop it, Alex. Stop it. Uh, Why? Because I want to He does save cool this. shit. Just, he's a badass, but, I, well, but we don't think he's... They're potentially not going to do it, but they better do it, no. or I'm going to be fucking pissed. And we'll save that for when they don't do it, okay? And then pissed. there's Isil Isildur. Isildur. Isildur, which is his son. You finger choppy guy. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. the fucking... The the fucking boat thing. I'm not interested in the fucking boat thing He's at all. He's also a little bitch, and I hate I him. And I want hate him. And then fire. we have Arian, the made up character, which uh, the the daughter. the daughter, which I think she's a gender swap because it was supposed to be another son, and they just fucking gen gender swap her for no reason. Or I she's think, new, and this other son is dead. I mean, or I maybe know. the it, son yeah. is dead. Yeah, but she's okay. And then there's um, and then there's Kemen, which. I had to look this up. It's the son of Farazon, the lion main guy, that is the supposed, lo I guess, the love interest to the daughter. And I am rolling my eyes, and I am just, like, getting frustrated, losing patience with, like, I don't care about any of these characters when they're on screen. Do you, Joe? No. I'm glad you're with me. Uh, but there is some good stuff here, too. So it's like, this is what's so fucking frustrating. Why, Amazon? Why? It's already written for you. All you have to do is gr get great fucking script writers who can translate from, from book and things. And, and then lore masters, like you said, they fired. They fired. I, I, heard, I heard there were rumors that that's not true. Whatever. 
but it doesn't it, it feels true that's what fucking matters here and uh and it's there for you and but i just feel like they're they're changing the story and I don't really feel a need for it. I don't understand why Amazon is screwing with it. And uh, I saw a comment uh, on on in, on Reddit. It's like you know that meme where it's like uh, 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 fucking shit. What's that actor's name? James Franco is looking over. I don't know that he's he's about oh, yeah. to be hung, and he's like, first time. Mm -hmm. It's like the wheel of time. Fans are like, this is first time about Amazon fucking with your shit. And uh, Amazon is fucking with the shit here. And uh, unfortunately, they're trying to push these characters that, that I don't really care about. The pacing's off. Now, we get a little bit more of um, Erendir, which is the elf uh, that was captured in prison. So so there's some stuff there. Uh, but And it's, it's, it's all right. But then eventually he reunites with his love and we go... You know, into that that I'm not invested in or stuff anything. you don't care about. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and then finally, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Adar. So Adar is finally shown, and I'm like, oh fuck, man, what's going on? Is it is this Sauron? What's happening? And and uh, I find him interesting. I I I don't think he's Sauron. Okay. Uh, I I think he's a servant or whatever. But I have hopes for the storyline because you fool. <laughs> no, I no, Joe. And this one, this one might be legit. Okay. The other ones, I don't have hope. Okay, so I'll, I'll share where I don't have hope, which is Numenor. Uh, okay, but here it's like, uh, orc is dying, and Adar comes. He's supposed to be the father of the orcs. That's what it means. And uh, you could see he's crying. Like this guy puts in a good performance as he kills his orc. So I think if what they're doing is they're going with the real origin in the books of the orcs. Which, Which one? There's multiple origins. Well, the one that I read, where they were like twisted elves, or yeah. Or, but then Tolkien came back and said, "No, that's not the case." And okay, uh, well then, then, then Amazon might be going with that yeah. because maybe this is a twisted elf, and he's yeah. killing another elf, and he's crying about it, and then he lets uh, essentially Aaron Arendil Aaron Dor go Dear in God. order to Aaron deliver a, a message. Um, so I'm I'm liking this because I don't think this is Sauron. I think this is something interesting. Uh, he could be a, a, a tortured soul. Is, is does he actually hate Sauron? Is he Sauron's ally? Could, what is happening here? I like that. Um, and then finally, another good aspect: no Harfoots. Completely, yes. completely surprised by that fact. So a very uneven episode, in my opinion. What do you, uh, you guys think? I feel like there's more exposition here. Not a lot of stuff happened. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of essential stuff happened. Oh, until, until the very end, right? So yeah. let me not forget saying, uh, then b all, all of a sudden we go from potting, pl pl plotting pace to here we go. Now we're, 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 we're going up on the roller coaster. Numenor has been galvanized to, uh, to fight for the south. Lands, yes. a threat that they don't even know really exists, but they're going to, because in the book, they're not fighting for the Southlands. They're actually fighting. Okay. Anyways. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, not a lot to happen until the very end. I feel like this honestly needs to pick up the pace. Mm -hmm. with yeah. Give me yeah, some more I'm, action. I'm losing I, do, patience. I do like the orc stuff that's going on with yes. that. And obviously, again, with the elves and the dwarves. Yeah. Did you see that? Orc, that actor that has I now. Do like. That, that, or, that, Orc actor, I saw a picture. He's now been in every single kind of uh, modern uh, Lord of the Rings thing. The one I'm that's screaming. Like, he's, he's awesome. Anyway, he's a great, great one. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Love the orcs. That stuff is working for me, but what's not is like the pacing of it so far. Hopefully the next episode, we get more action. Yes. Because that's what it's missing. But I did see there's some hard foots coming up on <laughs> the next <laughs> yes, <laughs> episode. Yes, will be back. Joe, so what would you think of... Uh, Harbrand and uh, Gal Galandriel. Galandriel. She, I don't know. Just her performance is just so bland for oh, me. I, I just can't stand She's it. She's not carrying the show. She for me. is it's not. A, it's it's the same thing. She's like too stoic and bland. <laughs> exactly. I mean, y'all can continue talking. I'm gonna do my. 
I don't want to interrupt. No, no, okay, I'm going to do my impression. <laughs> no, that's over. what I thought about it. Go ahead. Okay, so that's Joe. All right. Uh, Alex. No, nah, I'm good. I don't like this shit. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm done. I like, it, it's, it's, a fu- it's, it's crazy because it's like they, they went and they have like a bullet point uh, of like all of the cool things that have ever happened in Middle Earth or around Middle Earth. And they're like, let's just do all this shit. It's like, well, in order, right? And you're like, nah, man, this is going to happen. Nah. And this is going to happen. And it's all going to be at the same fucking time. And it's like, well... Are we gonna watch the guy uh, try to go fight God so he can live forever, and then like watch his home? And then they're like, "No, oh, I want to see that." Yeah, it's like, are we gonna? I, are I we hope gonna... we're doing that. No, no, we're not going. We have, fi- we have to, Alex. There's four more seasons of this shit. It does. It doesn't work with the timeline, my friend. I don't. Like, Nothing works with this timeline. Like, yeah, but so the that reason took that, some pictures of yeah, it just it just don't it doesn't work. Okay. Like, uh, if we have the Lord of Gifts uh, doing shit, he's doing shit behind the scenes, which is. Okay, Again, I'm going to say this every single week. How are you going to have a show called The Fucking Rings of Power and not show the like actual like behind the scenes making of The Rings of Power, you fucking idiots? It, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Season three. Why am I fucking defending the show? But I'm but obviously that shit is coming, Alex. You think but so? I'm, I'm but They're- I'm with you and it's like where is um what's his fucking name? I don't remember. I have a fucking I, I, on uh, on on tar the Lord of Gifts, the Anatar. fuck it, yes, the yeah. one that's fucking manipulating the elves behind the scene, Sauron in disguise. Are they just skipping that whole extremely you, you just, interesting? You just three times he's coming. Uh, yes, but <laughs> but, but I, what I'm saying is he better already be here. That's the only this way season. any of this is going to make sense is that he's already here. Yeah, except for I'm saying that that shit that should not be bu- the whole show is about these things that should not be the behind the things. Yes, you're thing. right. Okay, it's okay. like watching Lord of the Rings and then like they're like, oh, it's over. Sure. What happens? Like, oh, and behind the scenes, the hobbits were doing some shit. Yes, and they dropped a ring and it was fine. So this shit better be in episode five. If you don't fucking show, I mean, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna show him at the very Final episode. I don't care. And anymore, he's been man. kept off screen for all what was it, eight or nine episodes? I don't remember. Yeah, or or Halbrand is actually Sauron now. And no, he's, no, 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 no. So or, I I xed out that theory that I initially had because I thought that he was Sauron. Everyone's Sauron. Everyone's now Gandalf. I'm going Nothing back to matters. It. I'm going back to that theory. You want to know why? Because I thought about it more. Read read more comment sections. Initi- why does Halbrand? Why is he so obsessed with staying on Numenor? There is no reason. There's no reason he wants to stay on Numenor. And then I didn't understand the significance of I want to. I want to fucking forge. I want to fucking forge. Why? Why do you want to forge? W- what purpose do you have to forge right now? I, I gotta. I gotta find. I gotta forge. Th- that's Sauron, man. Because the, and then he would if if he was th- then he could then stay on Numenor and then do and then start to talk. The second this motherfucker starts to t- oh, it happens in this episode. His motherfucking Sauron, Phazon. Remember when he lets her out uh, because uh, Galandriel is uh, imprisoned, and later on, as they're escorting her out, she she fights the guards and uh, uh, um, uh, Fa- Phazon backs off, and he kind of. Halbrand kind of advises him to like I wouldn't do that if you I were you, but if you know where she's going, to, it don't matter. Like he's already advising him, and so what that is that's the fucking connection because Farazon is going to be influenced by Halbrand while she is off and that army is off and things are gonna change on Numenor. Motherfucking Halbrand confirmed Sauron saying it today. So are you mad now that you're not going to get half of the Farazon shit? Because now yes, it's, so it's like now I see dude, what dude, you said. It I was wrong. You were yeah. Right. It's like if they do, they can't have all of these things. Like we can't. I was thinking he can't simultaneously be behind the scenes with Cel- Celebrimbor, mm-hmm. uh, right? And and that is a problem with the with the timing when they're smashing all of the fucking. Lord, there's together. some cool shit that we're not gonna get to see happen, and we may get to see half of the cool shit. The problem is, we I want an entire season cool of shit. all of the really all cool, the cool shit. shit, and it's like if you this, could do it, if this fucking they, they idiot, done who, it. It you could have done it. seasons, yeah. you could have done, done it. You gotta, it fuck, you could have, you could have done it. Uh, you don't even need five seasons. I think if you're skilled, you you could fucking just, you just could fucking fin- show. Just it's got, what do you call it? Anthology, just do a fucking anthology, and you yeah. can fucking do it. Anyway, so I think that the, like they're, they're they're laying some hints down that Halbrand, there's something fucked up about him. Now it could be you said there's okay. no reason he wouldn't want to go back to Middle Earth. Right, there's yeah. a huge reason. He is one of the few people 
uh, that is alive anywhere near the, the, that area that knows that orcs are real and they're fucking carving up human beings like crazy. And if he's terrified and he's like, I got to get away from that shit, there is a reason that he's like, that whole place is fucked. I want to oh, live here. That, that is his reason. Why are you in a rush to go back? And, and he's like, I don't want to fucking be, I don't want to go there because mm-hmm. like, they're right, still, yeah. okay. So there, there are, there are, re- it could be, that could be a, Red herring. Various it, could be, reasons. it could be a herring. Again, it's just I. There's the we're just brushing over all of this stuff, all of the coolest stuff, in favor of fucking a- Arian and Isildur and fucking the- Browen's son Theo. Theo. I don't give a fuck. Well, you first. Huh? You, no, we need to see their date. They went on a date. It was really nice. Oh. Uh, and this is the CW what moment date that they did. Oh, uh, Elendil's daughter oh, goes right. on a date, With and she Fe- meets a nice Ferizan's boy, son. and uh, and then they... Uh, he, she spills water on him. Yeah. He says, don't worry, I will cl- clean everything up. All right. Yeah, you do my work for me, you little yeah. bitch. <laughs> uh, but no, that's important, because this is what they did to Wheel of Time, where you're like, oh, cool, we're going to get some stuff, and they're like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to fucking CW this shit up. It's like, but why? And they're like, but, because... But- but why? <laughs> like you don't need to do that. Um, Please don't ruin it. Yeah. Can you can you fucking not? <sighs> Anatar, that's the Lord of Gifts. Yeah. Um, I don't think they can use that character name, but you can just fucking call Why else. not? Because I, I think the Tolkien say, say, no, fuck you. We don't like you because you're Amazon and you're going to ruin this shit anyway. <sighs> Man of many presents. There you yeah, go. yeah, yeah. I, Santa I, Claus. <laughs> just call him fucking Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Because <laughs> nothing matters in this show anyway. He's fucking Santa Claus. Okay. Here's another. Okay. So, I am now concerned as a half uh, knowledge, ha- half master, I'll call it, uh, an apprentice, okay? Uh, and, and, and Alex has already been concerned. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's talk to Joe. Joe, how is this going for you, not knowing that, oh, things Still should space. be happening here. This should do this. Are we going to see this? With all that extra shit not in your mind... How is it going? Like I was saying, it's a snail's pace right now. Like right. I need something to ramp up, something to keep me more interested. Because right okay. now, it's just like more exposition, more exposition. Are you it's excited? Like because it seems like the end of the episodes. Let's go to battle. I'm not excited anymore. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, we'll see what happens. But again, the Hardfoots are coming up next. And so I don't know how much that is going to take into effect. Because that's yeah. their Amazon's new thing. So that's going to kind of hinder some of the stuff that I do want to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and some doesn't make sense to me. Um as an apprentice, Alex is it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, we were we met we had a scene with Celebrimbor again with Elrond and they look out of his office window and they're already building the forge. Mm-hmm. And they're like, It's an amazing day that the dwarves and elves are working together so that the dwarves are helping build the forge. Yes. We kinda skipped uh, like the, the gallantry with that, the the pageantry and, and them showing up and helping and then later on the dwarves are like you need to go to uh the elves and figure out what they're up to but wouldn't the dwarves already know that they're building a forge and that's why elrond is there why does he need to figure out what elrond wants if the dwarves already know what he wants and they're helping him build the forge uh, is, I, this is the thing that went I, over I my head. I took it as uh, the uh, the elves. Or he had to go see what the dwarves were sneaking because they were they were doing something and it was kind of shady. So he went in to go see what's no, going on. No, I'm talking about now. The dwarves are like, all right, go see what the elves are doing. Yeah, I think it's them trying to build up uh, drama where none exists because they're like, wait a minute, why are you building this massive fucking forge? You already got forges. Why do you need something that grand? It's got to be about so our we're new... we're going to help you build it, but we need to know wh- why. Why? It's right. got to be about our new shiny stone that I just named today and has no way been in, in existence right. for thousands of years, which is one of the only reasons that we're here. Yes. Um, and they did give him a big chunk of the rock. That's enough to forge a ring with. Is yeah. that is is the ring made of mithril? Uh, yeah, I, one of the elven rings is. I think Galadriel's ring is the one made out of uh, uh, mithril. Yeah, okay. So that's definitely, that piece of rock is definitely becoming one of the rings of power. So we have a link there. Um, but I assumed that we already had the Lord of Gifts uh, manipulating Celebrimbor behind the scenes with the timetable, with the the uh, speeding up of things, and then now he's going to give the given this. Oh, look! This piece of metal has landed in my lap. I can uh, let's let's forge rings with it and shit. But if 
if we're doing, I guess, the Halbrand thing that I thought was Sauron, but maybe he's a witch king. I, I don't I just don't know. I'm 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 gonna stop trying to guess because they are doing a mystery. They're doing it mm -hmm. between the meteor character and then towards the end there's a faction of now humans that have been branded that are like waiting for the Dark Lord to finally show up and it's save your strength, boy. The dark power will come soon. And and so then they're waiting for Sauron to show up and, and he mentions the meteor. Did you see it? Uh, so I guess we still have potential Sauron with the, you know, Mystery Man, Albrand, or the Lord of Gifts who have still not been showed and M M M. Galadriel, the real Sauron. The, yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's Sela. Uh, okay, how about this? Will it, what if it's Celebrimbor himself is Sauron and the real Celebrimbor is, I don't know, tied up in a cave? Oh, we Scooby-Dooed it? Yeah, that would be. I mean, I'm in. I'm fucking in. I don't. I, don't like, I, I, can't, I, would, I can't tell I you. Like, I don't I give a fuck see. anymore. Like that I, sounds I awesome. Don't give a fuck. Let's fucking go. I, I don't know. He's tied up back there, <laughs> and he's just like he's got him. He's there the whole time, and he feeds yeah. him from time. I would have gotten away with it, most of you meddling kids. Uh, All right. So what's what's um, so? And Sauron can change forms and shapes and stuff. Uh, and that's he, what's so cool. Uh, to a point, until. Oh, what I'm not allowed to talk to you about, something really cool yeah, happens and something bad happens, and then Sauron's body dies. <clears throat> and then when Sauron's body dies, he gets a new body, and new body can't change forms anymore. So Sauron, you know for movies, can't change forms. Old, but the problem is we're mixing all of them together now, so nothing matters. Got it. Nothing matters. I, yeah, I just don't like the, 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 the narrative tension has been sucked out of the room. If we're showing the great wave and the fall of Numenor... It, Without any context, um, the, yes. the, the 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 rock, the bowling ball on the pedestal. Yes. Uh, they oh yes, yes. What yeah. is that called? I wrote it Palantiri. down. They don't. Uh, they don't. One. They don't <clears throat> show you the future. That's not what they do. Um, they talk to each other, and uh, <laughs> you can't. They don't lie to you. <laughs> they got mouths. Uh, there are seven, and uh, they're like they're lost. They're not lost. None of them are lost. And, and uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. It's I, just a plot device. It's a six, MacGuffin. Six, she says there's six of them. Or Se six there's, lost. there's seven. There's supposed to be eight. There's, there's seven of them, and then there's like I, master I ones know. are different, and then like they they all survive, and they're all fine at this point. But no, again, maybe they're yeah. She's like, I touched one of these before. Did did I? Did you touch the lost one? What did the elves just? I'm pretty roll, sure her uncle made them. I think Fanor made did them. Did it roll down the hill and she lost it? I, I don't understand. Quick, someone in the comments between the you guys are all fucking dicks. <laughs> Fainer made them. I think Fainer made them. I think I think uh, the general audience who aren't Lord of the Rings lore masters and who don't already want to like it simply because it's you know the lore and they're getting to. I want to it, like it. Is me too. Are on the page with us. It's like look, we're here for it. Um, it's not gaining traction as much as it should. We're, we're spinning our tires, and every once in a while we got some. Yeah, we got some fucking. All right, we got some torque. Let, let's go. Uh, and and then it is. Uh, but every time you it. do get some traction, so yeah. it's like whiplash. You're like, whoa, what the fuck was that? Herpes. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we got to figure out why they're doing this whole. So we need I MacGuffins. Keep looking her up. They're, they're just using buzzwords. They're yeah, like, well, what are, what, are, what are those fucking rocks that you touch your hands and bad stuff happens? It's like, oh yeah, that one. They, they show you the future. It's like, what? Okay. The, the show desperately needs Sauron. I've already determined it, and we're done. We we need to show the threat at this point uh, and, and figure this stuff out because there is no bad guy. There are a few unorganized orcs and Adar. Um, well, that's the bad guy. Joe. He's probably the bad guy for that's, season one. The, the, the issue guy. that I have with it is it, right now we've seen 30, 40 orcs. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and, like, one elf security and, guard and, was just and like, all of Numenor. Eh, fine. And all of Numenor is going to go and attack the Southlands and destroy the orcs very easy. All of one court, 40 volunteers in one city in a massive fucking island. <laughs> yeah, because you notice that Farazan is like playing into this. What is the word they're using? Like elf ears or... Uh, Knife ears? No, they, they, they chant it. You're an elf lover! Elf lover, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Ellen Dealey. Like, oh, it's oh, like... Friend elves. So... He's like riding that wave of hate so that he can get, you know, power and. Oh yeah, they're sending the queen region away. So he's hoping something bad happens to her so he can take over because yeah, he's already because he wants to do that and we were gonna skip over all the cool shit that he does and he's just gonna be a dick. But it's like not all the new. It just feels like all the Numenorians are shit, 
and yeah, sure. they, you know, it's like one city in one court That's in right. one tiny <laughs> uh, part of the island, but yet everybody is supposed to be this way. Uh, I'm just wondering where the loyalists are. And then when they show the loyalists, it's like they're not actually a faction or something. We don't get they're to see them. Like, I don't know, hiding or not they're in depicted. like the because they're not in like the capital area. They're on the other side, apparently. Right, but we need to see some of that stuff. We need to see a lot of shit, but All we're right. not saying anything. And I want to like the show. Like, I don't know if you know this, but I fucking love fantasy. I'll even read bad fantasy novels. And even if this was even sort of semi-faithful, I think I would be enjoying this. I just think If that this wasn't fucking Lord of the Rings. Yeah. It's just like they're just grabbing things that they, they knew at one point happened, and then they're just they're changing things. And as of right now, this early in the show, it, it doesn't feel like they're justified changes. It doesn't feel... Because like, if, if this felt good, if this was a show that was just... We were... All, like, the, the battles are awesome and he's loving it, then I can understand that. But almost everyone I know is like, it's okay yeah, sometimes. Yes. It's like, so you, you f- have the sheer fucking hubris to change all of this stuff to fit your yeah. narrative. I, and I, I like a few scenes, you know, when those pedals start falling and, and they, they film it well and then the music swells and it's like, let, let's go to battle. And then it's immediately fucked up by, you know, they're treating them like timid, me- timid men when they're like eight feet tall fucking warriors that are prototypes of the human race. It's like Spartans. I, I, I guess I'll go. It's like, I got no job. <laughs> I guess. It's like, you're, how are you going to fight None that of them are brave. It's like, one of you just got, like, four of you just got your ass kicked by this random fucking <clears> dude <throat> who may be Sarn, may be a king, maybe who gives a shit. All right, final verdicts. Sorry, it was a mess. <laughs> Show was a mess. Yeah. It is. Uh, five. The pacing on this is, like, just <clears throat> average. It's not a lot that's been going on. I really want the show to ramp up. Give me some more action. Uh, visually, again, it's great, but that's all the best things I could give it for this show. Like, mm-hmm. you spent that much money, you better come up with some amazing visuals. Mm-hmm. Yep. But, again, once the visuals, like, uh, it goes back to the actors, they're just so bland. And the dialogue yeah. is not written, written very well. Yeah, it's not written when very well. When you compare well, it to so House of the Dragon, which is a fair comparison, because they're both fantasy series, they're both big budget, they're both, well, one is f- five times the budget, but, yeah. Yeah, the and the doing the a cheaper way one is actually better, doing way better. better job than this one. So five for me. There is a tempest in me, and it will not be quelled by you, Regent. There is a tempest coming, but there is a tempest in me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can. I'm. There's an actual tempest, <laughs> but the tempest is in me, and you will not quiet me down. I am. <laughs> I would love to see that. Like, I want them to act like that. That's, that's how she's acting, Joe. No, you she's did a way better mind. job. Yeah. You did a way better job. I like that. I didn't like what she did. So, yeah, let's have more All of right. that. Yeah, you should be in the show. As as her? As yeah. Look, yeah. look you, don't need, you don't need long hair to be an elf yeah. anymore. You could totally fucking do it. We just bleach your tips, and then you yeah. could just be... If they wanted to Guy go with Fieri, short-haired the elf. elves, I was like, man, a perfect way would do, to do it would have been when these elves got captured by the orcs, they just fucking shaved their heads just to fucking make fun of them. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you loved your fucking long hair. And it would make sense. Oh, he's got short hair. He's, and then I'll just keep my short hair as a fucking, you know, it's fuck like, you fuck back you. to them. But, all right. Anyways, it's just stupid. So yeah, uh, final also, verdict is five yeah, out five. of ten. What also, about uh, the Southlands, not a, like I usually <laughs> like what happens in Southland with the orcs. Mm-hmm. This one... Nothing not really not happened. not not too good right now. No, okay. no. So. Uh, yeah, I got all sorts of issues with this thing. Um, the scale for this this whole series seems wrong. Um, this is supposed to be at a time where you're you're evacuating an entire huge section of the country, um, and they're moving things out. And we had like forty fucking people on a watchtower. Uh, do you remember in the in the second Lord of the Rings movie where they're they're evacuating and you see this long train of people and like it doesn't take a lot of extras you can do multiple it shots. Like, yeah, so it feels so I'm small like, what scale. What is the Tower? Is that a castle? Is it's it where the elves were to keep track of all of the the, yeah, the Southlands. Like so that single tower. Yeah, it's it's where they all are. All of the Southlands has been evacuated to the single tower. And there's forty or people it's left. Just one town that was. That's no, what it feels like because they said that's this town, this town, this town, this town. That is every. They specifically said that is every town from. Here to Harad, which is from fucking you know where Mordor okay. is all the way to the bottom, and so 
there's no one fucking left. So the scale for this billion dollar show is off. I need more fucking people. I need because I don't or care do about that map thing and then just show little fucking ants all migrating to one point and then you zoom in and you show something. something. There's something. So the scale feels wrong. I don't care about 40 people. Now, if there's 400 people in there, we talk. You do some things where it, it, it makes me feel like there is something big swelling up where you have a giant group of orcs going to attack a giant group of defenseless human beings. And it doesn't feel like that. It feels like a small band of orcs are going to fuck up 40 people. And I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> Okay. I just don't care. And so uh, we've got that. Yeah. I've got crazy bad acting lines delivery from uh, uh, Galadriel and her just being fucking awful and not anything like her character. They're turning her into I don't know what the fuck they're trying I to do with her. I don't like her. I just don't. I don't it's like anything about four, her. And I'm, I'm off. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, man. So I'm not. Talk to me in episode nine. The dialogue's not very good. We have new characters going on CW, young adult drama dates. Isildur's the most unlikable fuck. Uh, you know where he's getting people, he's ruining people's lives because he's being a twat and he can't pay. You know, people can die. I don't know if you know this, but you know ships, those ships are dangerous, and you're you're not you fucking letting something go. You can kill people, which is why you get thrown out. What was he doing? Uh, he, to the yeah, he was like, yeah, he was rubbing his nuts, and they're like, and the the mountains were whispering to him. They're like, hey. Hey. What mountains? Is that the west side of Numenor, or is it fucking Middle Earth, the mainland? I don't know what the fuck they're doing with him. I have no idea. I have just no fucking idea what they're doing with him. They keep, it's, they keep whispering with the mountain. They're like, yeah, come come here. And so it's like, I don't like anything. Of, I don't. that didn't serve? In the Hall of the Mountain King? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, I do like Elrond, uh, Elrond and Durin. Like, there's some really cool stuff happening there. The problem is the show is just taking too long. We're four episodes in. Yep. We haven't set up the, the, the major conflict. We haven't set up the major bad guy. We don't know who anyone is. The main <laughs> character is unlikable. And I don't like this shit. I just don't. Like, this is, the, this is the one that, like, I have not liked it the past three episodes. But this is the time where I truly, I just don't give a fuck anymore. Like, let's just do what everyone... The uh, everyone is Sauron, and there's what the, there's just four timelines, and we don't know that it's different timelines. I don't give a fuck. You're depressing. A uh, good, sure good. Right. This shit is not like. <laughs> All right, what's your what's your rate? I'm gonna so <laughs> I'm gonna I I was gonna say that I kind of understand that this is like average fantasy. This would be an average fantasy show, but I'm gonna take away two points for the CW Ooh. shit that they've incre- they increased themselves. They they just made it up. Like I don't give trace. A shit. Yeah, I'm giving it three. Like this Whoa. isn't good. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so I was at, I was out of five because I think you know it's got kind of ha- ha- half of it is working it and half of it's not. But when you factor in as as a as a fan of the material, I totally understand and <clears throat> I I get you on that. So uh, five out of ten for episode four. Uh, it's starting to lose us, but it seems like it's. Like they're teasing that it's ramping up, and then they immediately show They've us more done Harfoot that stuff. Yeah. So it's like. I don't think the next episode is going to be what we want. Uh, so, all right. What Anyways, let's go, Sauron? let's go into an episode breakdown now, all right? We'll do it real quick because no. we're, uh, yeah. We can talk about almost everything, so we'll do it <clears> quick, yeah. Hey, welcome to the episode breakdown. So we got the fall of Numenor, Numenor in the vision. I fucking hated it because it, it takes away all narrative tension and all the fucking cool badass stuff. But if you don't really give a shit about the lore, then sure, you're going to tease it up front. And uh, I just hated it. And that's the way it's going to look. I, I kind of envisioned it way more impressive. I mean, that's just one small aspect of what happens as the entire fucking land is reshaped by the gods of this fucking universe. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> we get more of this regent queen. What's her name? Muriel. Muriel. Uh, and uh, uh, she's... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> First, we get Farazhan amongst the commoners, and that's where he kind of... Uh, you know, runs into that guy that got beat up by Albrand and he's sowing hate for the elves and then he uses this, he plays into it to become their de facto leader of this kind of movement. He's like, free drinks! Everybody wants to be racist! Well, everybody gets free drinks if you're a racist. I, I love this part because I just because it's so fucking silly that he's like walking around and he has all of these drink girls with him at all times. Yeah, Wine for everyone! It's like, I fucking love just, that guy! Like, what, I wow, would fight God for that guy. Five, you want to fight God? 
You you walk around with one hundred beers Let's go. to just serve one court in a massive city on a massive island, and I'm supposed to believe that now all of a sudden all of them are fucking racist against elves, even though these were the allies of the elves. I, I don't. I just don't make that transition yet. So okay, maybe Farazan is convinces everybody to be a dick because he has beer. Um, <laughs> I like beer. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to be a fucking racist dick to drink beer. Uh, anyways, uh, Galadriel asks for an alliance to the Queen Regent, asks for help. She says no. And, <laughs> and then and she's like, all right, fuck you. I, I want to talk to your dad. <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> Go to jail. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> And that's what Hal Brand points out when she's in jail. He's like, he's like, you're an unlikable, shitty fuck. Unlikable. You are four thousand years old. How have you not learned tack? Oh, you have. This is this is comes. This is stuff that they're inventing because they're hack writers. Yeah. that uh, are shitty. There's a tempest. <laughs> Somebody says tempest, and and <laughs> Galadriel just grabs it. There's a tempest, and man, it will not be quelled. It was very Dennis region. Reynolds. Did you get the, did you pick up on, like... Anyways, uh, <laughs> then we go to the dude on the ship, the, f- the fucking son on the ship. Uh, he sails, um, and he gets, he fucks it up because he's daydreaming. He's we don't know why. He did that already in a previous episode. Like, I literally was like, are we, are we on the wrong episode? The, the thing happened, right? That happened before. And now it's happening again. And same thing with the uh, all right, and I don't care. But this time he it gets him and his friends kicked off from the Sea Guard, and they're fucking pissed. It's his brother. Well, I don't think it's his brother. It's his friend, but he calls him, you know, and he's pissed off, and he hits him because this is my whole life. You don't fucking care. And then he had the yeah. audacity to hit his friend. It's like your the friend should have kicked the shit out of yep. you. <clears throat> And then, uh, so I, I just don't care about that drama. I'm, I guess in the future, these two characters will play a factor, and then he will do it. I, I'm, no. Adar, uh, Mercy kills an orc. So then, as, after the show's like, <laughs> then Adar comes. And, oh, this is well acted. This is interesting. Who is this man? Is it Sauron? Is it a, uh, you know, a servant? Uh, uh, is he going to kill Aaron Deer? That's his name, yeah, Aaron Deer. Uh-huh. Uh, but he lets him go uh, to deliver a message to, to Watchtower that, um, what was the message? Uh, you can become our slaves and uh-huh. give us your lands and you'll be totally fine. Um, Join us. Or- well, it does seem like they were looking for the sword. Yeah. But it they, seems it- like that is the main goal of digging under these cities and then attack, raiding them. Because it seems so. That's the whole thing, I think. The sword is important, but they need they need Mordor. They they need to take over the Southlands because that's what becomes Mordor. Okay. Yeah. Because that's the breadbasket of his army, and they have he always had mm. human slaves there growing the wheat to feed his massive army. Because you know, All right. nothing's growing in the volcano. Uh, he's f- very familiar with the elf lands. It's shown he's an elf himself. They, they t- turn one of his ears like this so that you'll fucking see it. Uh, he's definitely an elf, and he understands where the guy was born, and he's talking to him, and he wants to become a god. He, I'm not a god yet, but I will be a god. So I'm like, sorry? Mm, maybe not. Um, <clears throat> then, uh, what's this fucking lady's name? Boromir. No, that's... <laughs> Definitely Lord Boromir. Hey, look, um, we're mashing timelines, dude. Boromir should <laughs> show up. Boromir shows up, shows up girlfriend. and he <laughs> jump kicks Aaron Deer, and it's totally cool. Um, no, what's her name? Bra- Bronwyn. So what? then Bronwyn is shown uh, taking sort of like a leadership position. She wears blue, and everybody else is wearing uh, brown and gray. So listen to her. And uh, Theo wants to help. Her son wants to help, and she won't let him. And so then he helps anyway. The stuff you don't care about. Goes to get scavenged food. Get and his food. friend, he's like, was an asshole to him before, but now is timid. And he's like, stop being a bitch. Let's go get some scavenged food. They left their city without grabbing the food? Yeah. I just have a question. Yes. Did they left their city without grabbing the food? Well, no, they're grabbing the food from the their, these raided uh, towns. Yeah, their town. To they, bring they, back they, to they, the they left. Yeah, so they left their city without bringing the food that was in their town? For them? Uh, they don't need. Uh, it. I, I guess you would have to harvest. It. Yeah, I guess they did. That's pretty stupid. 
but I, maybe it's running out. I don't. I don't fucking know. But you're right. <clears throat> uh, so then uh, he goes into uh, a house. I don't want to go in the house. So he goes in alone, and then his friend runs off because uh, the c- the clouds uh, cover, and he's like, "Well, fuck. If if there's any orcs showing up, there the sun isn't going to help." These me. orcs are vampires. Real orcs are not vampires. Yeah, it's a little much. And I'm like, I don't really remember that. From it weakens them. Lo- it does weaken them. It does weaken them, but they don't like burst into flames or anything. If like They use this as a narrative device quite heavily, yeah. I might add, yeah. uh, that they can't do shit. <laughs> So it's like I think one of them he's attacked, <laughs> um, and he basically brands himself, uh, uses the sword's power to cu- cut the orc, and the escapes from the orc, jumps in a well, and they're trying to find him. Oh, he has it! He has We the found blade. it. He has the blade, and it's what they were looking for the whole time. And Inf- inform the master, da, oh, we found it. Um, so yeah. Um, then he's just waiting there till till dark. Mm-hmm. Till dark, and then makes his escape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then uh, elves and dwarves working together on the forge, and it's being built outside of Celebrimbor's office. Um, I hope we get to see more of this and w- the, the context of it uh, in the past and, and in the future. I need a dwarven montage. Yeah. Elrond goes, it's so little Celebrimbor stuff for how important he is. And, um, Elrond goes back to the dwarven city. So a passage of time, fuck it, whatever, uh, to see what they're they're hiding. That's what you said, Joe. Uh, did we forget that he was banned from the city? I guess it doesn't matter. Nothing cause, matters. Because there's no consequences <laughs> for any action. So he's banned from the city, but even the guards are like, hey, uh, you want to go over here a little bit? Because you're spying on people and stuff. Um I know you're banned from the city, but you can hang out if you want. Yeah, <laughs> he knows, uh, and then he, kn- he with his eyes he tells, "Oh, uh, it looks like his wife was uh, fucking lying because you know you, you're making his favorite meal and you're planning for him to come home soon." And she she lies for him, and and then he sees them talking, and he knows to go to the old mine. Um, and it turns out that Duran just thought that you know, oh, you want my fucking or two. That's why you're here. So, nah, man, I don't give a shit about that. I'm just worried about you, dude. And he's like, all right, I want you to swear that you won't tell anybody. Swear on this rock. And he's like, I swear on the rock. And he's like, we found this new ore. Don't tell Never anyone. Se- don't tell anyone. Never seen it before, ever. Yeah, but you can have it. Can I it thought that's you. why the dwarves that's made French. that their home, because there was mithril in the mountains, but I guess not. It is assumed, uh, so he gives them some of it. Uh, which can be used for the ring later, uh, and then um, then we get this the the rousing scene of the potential love interest for this new ma- made up daughter character. I I don't know what happened. So she spills water on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's Yo, uh, Joe fell asleep. No, it's not asleep. <laughs> then I was what did fucking eyes. tell me what happened? <laughs> she spilled water. She's like, I help you clean it up. She's like, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Good. Don't talk to strangers. If there's strangers around, I'll let you know. Oh, you're so funny. You do watch it. <laughs> 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 All right. So then, <laughs> that, so we get that stupid ass scene, and then Helbra, and they're they're setting something up here. If he's Farazan's son, I think Farazan is gonna be evil eventually, and this guy will be evil, and and he'll fuck around with the daughter. I don't know, kill her or whatever. Good. Um, that they'll that. Thing will be potentially <laughs> screwed because it's CW. Uh, Hal Brand then uh, helps um, um, Galandrail with her guile craft. Uh, and, and First person in 4,000 years to ever say, hey, maybe don't be an <laughs> asshole and you'll get what you want. And she's like, oh, shit. I am an asshole. Let me go be more of an asshole. Uh, so then she's ordered off the island and uh, that she fights them and escapes, sort of. And uh, I'm losing myself. The interest in the girl and the my interest in the girl and and the boy is uh, less than zero. Yeah, and it's, then it's less than the Harfoots. Oh yeah, it's 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 really bad. I would yeah. rather watch Harfoots than the son and daughter so character yeah. and the love. In, I I don't care. He's fucking up his friend's life. She's has a stupid love interest. I don't get it, and I don't care. Yeah. Um, oh, <clears throat> while they're talking, uh, 
His father, the son character, who was kicked out of the... Um, the sealed door, yeah. This, uh, yeah, the sealed door. His father won't let him take Barrick. Yeah, West, you know? You know Barrick, Joe? He won't let him take Barrick, West. Mm -hmm. Barrick. Barrick. He <laughs> won't let him take Barrick. That's very important. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know why I made a note of it, but I'm like, I'm just so disinterested. And he's like, I won't take Barrick. This okay, Barrick. I better, we better. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Forgive me. Uh, I don't know. No, I won't. Why aren't you loyal to the elves? Oh, that's my notes. So, uh, uh, I'm losing my place again. So this she is the point where into she breaks into the tower to try to go see the king. Go ahead. Yeah, and so Take it over for they, they knew that she was up there. They're like, look, we're, we're not fucking dumb. We're supposed to be fucking insanely brilliant and tall, but we'll, we'll settle for, you know, sort of smart sometimes. Mm -hmm. And they're like, look, what are you fucking doing here? Like, the... Her the father is fucking dying. Yeah, it's just she's like... a bitch. Yeah, it's it? like, yeah, it's, so stop doing that. Uh, I'm not letting you do this. I know your father's dying, but aren't you, are you loyal to the elves? <laughs> yeah. yeah, why, you know, why are you being such an <laughs> asshole when we used to be allies and then yeah. they... And then that's when she shares the uh, palantir, palantir. palantir. Seven seeing stones. There is only one that remains, and this is it. So she touches it and sees the future, uh, the basically the fall of, uh, of the island and the civilization. And then she mentions the Valar can take away the island, basically setting up for the, the mass audiences so that nobody will be confused in the future when it happens and they just show the same yeah. fucking CGI scene. Um. <clears throat> so she makes a final appeal at that moment to ally together and still the queen regent she says no because she saw the vision and the vision's from the gods and she thinks that it's if she helps her that it will fuck shit will fuck up uh, and so then we get the Theo stealth mission away from the orcs uh, this is sort of your action, again, uh, in, in the episode. And I guess the orcs don't have any kind of special smell senses. Kind I, of did. It seemed like it one like of the did. orcs was, was mm -hmm. thing, but I was like, man, wouldn't it be fucking crazy if the orcs can smell you right away? They but should. I guess it wouldn't make for a show. It, it may, I think they can, and I think this is something I don't have a problem with. Lore. If if they were in the woods or something, that would make sense. You're like, that's a smell that doesn't... Like, you're in a human village. That place would reak of human beings. Everything you, would be covered Alex. in sweat and stuff. So, like, I buy that. you. Uh, Aaron Deer saves him from the orc last second, saved by mom's boyfriend. Yeah. God Still look on your dad. <laughs> then they did the, tra <laughs> then they do the trailer shot. He's firing arrows as they're backing away. He does a badass thing, grabs an arrow out of the fucking. That that's a goddamn uh, legolas move, and I'm like, that's fucking. The sweet. orc arrows are real short, though. The orc arrows. a real big bow, and I don't know if you ever try to use a small <laughs> arrow on a big bow. It don't work. The sun saves them, Alex. Don't pull back. It's Actually. hard. They won't. Because they're vampires. The sun. And yeah. And then the dwarven lady is chanting. Very well done. I like this. I really like Duran's wife. She's, she's done a great job. She grows a beard. I love her. I, I actually love her without the fucking beard. Just I'm double. over it. Fuck it. Fuck Cowards. This beard. And uh, the dwarven, uh, basically, king um, shuts down this vein. So Duran is fucking pissed. Because it was too dangerous to mine. Dwarves cannot mine the mine well enough. So the dwarves will not mine. The dwarves, and the, claps. the thing they do best, they won't do. Yeah. A mine is a terrible For thing. For the to best waste. metal ever, the dwarves do not know how to mine and will not mine. Because they almost lost a few mines. Mining. Dwarves. Four miners. Did they lose them? Did they hire, ho ho die horrible deaths? No. No. But we're shutting down the vein. Because we are dwarves and we do not mine. We do not know how to mine efficiently. For the best metal in the universe? No. Dwarves mm -hmm. do not mine. Well, they probably just need, you know, you can't have un unsupervised miners. Because so they just need better people down there making sure. No more deaths. To do the mining, so shut, shut all, shut it all down. <laughs> yeah. We no longer mine. No wonder the uh, when we see the dwarves' uh, city in Lord of the Rings, it is fucking empty and in tatters because the dwarves 
do not mind. Um, Durin and Elrond reminisce on how they met. A fun little scene, you know. God, I wish I had more of these. And and no, oh, it was two trolls. No, it was three trolls, and you were crying like a bitch when I found you. <laughs> um, yeah, it, the Dwarven King though his uh, he's good to his son, you know, and uh, he forgives him. Uh, what he needed to forgive him for, I, I don't really know. Yeah, for, argument, for mining, yeah. right? Because dwarves don't mine. Uh, yeah, for contributing gotta, to the delinquency of miners. <laughs> <laughs> gotta forgive you, son, for tr- attempting to mine. It's not what we do normally here. Uh, Durin will go to Lin- Linden to find out what the elves are up to. Uh, if see if the, but this is where what wouldn't they already know? But I guess what is the f- forge for? Yeah, what's what what's the real forge? And but the way that the show depicts it, like. These places are, you know, like around the corner from each other. So, like, yeah, just walk over there. It'll just take you a day. Yeah, it's it's a lot. I guess this is setting up. Oh, you're making a forge? Oh, you're making wondrous gifts. Let me have some of those. The dwarves would like some rings, too. Maybe that's what that's setting up. Um, and then we get uh, one more scene uh, between uh, the elf and his love interest as they're kind of, you know, all culminating in the watchtower. One place for the orcs to, assumedly... Assault in the next episode, maybe. Hopefully, I hope so. I hope they I all hope die. so. A deer, yeah. All the humans just dead. Yeah. Okay. Why? It's great. I agree. It'd be it'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, the petals fall. Uh, this is the scene. This and then here's where I'm like, all right, good again. So all that shit, and now we're good again. Uh, the petals start falling, and uh, she makes a speech, and she changes her mind and realizes that the Numenorians are supposed to be badass. Uh, oops, <laughs> forgot. Sorry. Uh, th- they'll go fight. We'll fight. We'll fight Sauron. Um, there's one unemployed guy, and it inspired the one court marketplace area, and we have 40 soldiers. <laughs> we'll go and fight. Yeah. No, the, the entire army will go and fight a threat that has not been found yet. Uh, so the Numenorians. <clears throat> I hated the depiction of it, but I get it. It's for dramatic effect, right? And they don't have I will fight. I will (laughs) fight, too. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. You know, it's it's for that kind of thing, but... But what if we did something that, like, where, like, Farazhan's like, we can't send any of our actual soldiers because this is something that goes against our code, and you have to take volunteers, and then it drives a wedge, and it says something up cool, but no, fuck that. Because uh, uh, they don't that care. That sounds fucking Stop awesome. They, they don't care. So, Stop, so why the fuck? Uh, are, Stop being a better writer. Why do they c- c- take random fucking dudes? Like I, children. I There's know. like, I want to go fight. It's like, you're going to protect the queen regent? Yeah, so they, random did, they, did they forget to explain that? That they cut the scene out? Because there are soldiers around and their armor looks stupid. I wish the Numenorians looked cooler, but... Why not take those guys? No. They, they we busy. missed that scene, they didn't we? They, well, they didn't write it. They didn't? Okay. Yeah, they, they, we don't get any of that. Um, so well, there's only building. seven orcs and eight are, so you only need a bunch of unemployed dudes <laughs> so to there's, them. So they're building an army, Alex. You just It's off screen because we don't have the budget. Oh, the cool stuff's off screen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the dwarves are... Uh, the dwarf storyline working. Adar working. No Harfoots. All right. Yeah. However, like I said, I'm losing patience, and I'm worried about uh, the lore that's being changed and if there's actually going to be an Anatar that is deceiving the elves. That's where I'm at right now, and that's uh, uh, so even Apprentice is becoming worried. And if this goes another episode, episode five and six, you're going to come put, you're going to turn me into an enemy, and I don't want that. So let's let's ramp it up here. Amazon five and six need to be bangers, boy. They need to be bangers. All right. Well, <laughs> let's check it out together next week, uh, shall we? See you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. If you like these videos, forgot to mention this, uh, consider contributing to our Patreon. It allows us this extra time to uh, review all these uh, side series, and it helps us out uh, very much. So if you'd consider contributing to our Patreon uh, and subscribing, thank you very much, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.